is Manchester, Kings of Nana, World of Plenty Teleport on World of Plenty TV, divine prophetic dots for your day. Plenty's greetings, precious and wonderful people of God. What an opportunity for me always to just have you listening to our daily thought, divine prophetic thoughts. This month we have entitled it, I am escorted in an angelic prophetic convoy. Let me share my thought about angels. I'm going to share purely my thought, what I think, and then I'm going to refer to the scripture. As a plenty nation, we believe angels are God's messengers. We believe angels also, they are meant to worship those who are God's sons. And not only worship them, serve them, meaning doing things for them. That's what the Bible put it very clearly when it comes to angels. Let me just go direct to the scripture so that everyone will understand what I am saying. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7, And of angels he saith, who makes his angels spirit, and his minister a flame of fire. Well, the argument around theology will say there is a difference between spirits and angels, whatever may, a view may be. But in my understanding of the scripture here, here it talks about angels that they are made spirit and they are made his ministers. They minister to God. Keep that in mind. But unto the Son he says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of the kingdom. Now, notice that the angels, he made them spirit, he made them servants, but to his son, he called his son, your throne of God is forever. Your scepter is a scepter of righteousness. So that means he has a kingdom, he has a scepter, he has a throne. That's a son, because he's going to rule. Now what I want you to understand, remember what I said, my belief about angels, they are spirit messengers that are sent to worship us, to serve us. Now look at verse 9. He said, Thou love righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, had anointed thee with oil of gladness above all thy fellows. And thou, O Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hand. Now let's jump to verse 13. To which of the angel had he at any time set at my right hand until I make thine enemy thy footstool? Are they not all ministering spirit sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Because of time, today I'm going to leave you with this one. Do you know the word servant here or ministered? mean deacons, mean the attendant, the one who serve. So God has given you angels to serve you. That's number one. Two, when he sent his son on earth, he said to the angels, they are to worship his son on earth. Think about it. All those who are born again are the sons of God. If you are a son of God, God has sent his angels to worship you. And many of you, you don't understand that Jesus is not God because he's God. He's God because God made him God. He named him God. He called him. He made him son. He made the angel to worship him. And the Bible says he has made us kings. He has made us to be righteousness of God. He has made us to be God on earth through being born at you are a son of God. Jesus was both man and God. He was a man because he was born by a man on earth. He was God because he was born by God by the Spirit. In fact, all the theologian agrees that Jesus Christ was born again after his death. And we got born again after his death. Other than that, in the law, no one seems to be born again spiritually. So what I want you to see today Angels were made to worship you, made to serve you. 
And what happens to many of you? You don't believe that angels are your servant. You can send them to get money for you. You can send them to fight for you. You can send them to fix things for you. They are your bodyguard to protect you when your body or your life is being attacked. May today keep this thought. You are a son of God because you are a son of God. You are God because you are God. Angel worship you and save you. Stay blessed, stay plenteous, and keep on living in the world of plenty and more than enough where nothing is missing and nothing is broken. His Majesty King Somnala, World of Plenty Teleport on World of Plenty TV. Divine prophetic dots for your day.